been stood here since last Tuesday or the Tuesday before waiting for you. That's not true because we're wearing different clothing. Damn, I always get rumbled. <laughs> Welcome to the Steam Kitchen, I'm Ian. And I'm Mike. We have a great recipe today. It's a savoury again. It is cheese and potato mini frittatas. Frittatas. It's a great word, isn't it? Sounds a bit exotic. For today's make, you're going to need the following. 100 grams of waxy potatoes, scrubbed but unpeeled. Four eggs. 125 millilitres of milk, 20 grams of grated parmesan cheese or pecorino cheese, 50 grams of finely grated cheddar cheese, some chopped chives, some crushed chilies and some crispy onion. So the water has come to a boil, the water has got a little pinch of salt in it, so I'll just take the top off. Turn it down a little bit and I've got my potato I'm going to put in. Be careful not to burn your fingers. And that wants to boil for around about 12 to 15 minutes. A little bit less, but just stick a fork in it. It doesn't want to be mushy. It has to have a little bit of consistency, but uh, to be cooked um, part way through. My potato's cooled. I didn't want to be handing a ooh, hot potato. <laughs> I've let it cool right down because there's no point trying to cut boiling hot potato, you're just going to burn your hands. Yeah, I mean you can run it under a cold water tap just to yeah. cool it down anyway, can't yeah. you? So I'm just going, to, just going to slice it quite thinly. I'm leaving the, the skin on because I want to keep that little bit, the bestness is in the skin. Bestnessness? Yes. You know all the, the nutrients and the goodness yeah. and the vitamins. Everything's in the skin so why would you peel it? I mean if you, if you want to peel it you can do. But I just suggest just slice it quite thinly. So there's still a little bit of give in it. It's not completely mm. mushy. You don't want it mushy because you'd never be able to cut them. Well, it's not mashed, is it? No. I'm just trying to concentrate. Sorry, there we are. So you don't lose the end of your fingers as well. Precisely. I'm just going to pop them up there. I'm just going to cut the opposite way now. So you'll end up with like little, they look like little sticks. <laughs> the consistency you want. It smells nice actually. Mm. Unless it's the parmesan cheese and the cheddar cheese I well, can smell. you know. <laughs> there we are. We'll do them as little sticks and then just turn the board and just chop slightly that way just to break the sticks up as they're not too long. Yeah. There we are. You have got a mezzaluna you could use but I think that might be a bit too um, a bit too much for these potatoes. Yeah it's very good. Uh, Mum bought it for me but it's a it's a double blader. Yeah. It's a bit... <laughs> yeah. Sorry for herbs and chocolate. And nuts. And nuts, yes. And chopping your nuts. <laughs> if you're chopping your nuts. <laughs> that's all you need. There we are. So that's the consistency you want. So it's a little bit... So it doesn't go mushy. Soft but firm. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to pop those into there. I'm into a shot there, mate. You are. Into a bowl we prepared earlier. There yes. You go. I'm leaving all the bits of skin, even the bits that have come off. And why not? Yumsville. Just fluff them up a little bit. There we are. So, next I need to get a jug. Excuse me. Should have got it out earlier. So What's we, that for? That's so we can mix the milk and the eggs together. Lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack the eggs into the jug and I'm going to put them onto the Chopping board when I've done to get rid of the shells. Yes. Yeah. One, two. At least this week I haven't got to separate the damn things. Yes, this is true. You really don't like handling eggs, do you? Not only keen. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but I'm frightened to find a baby chick inside. <laughs> but you don't because they're all they're all checked and X-rayed. <laughs> they shine a light through them, don't they, when they pack them? They do. Yeah. There we go. One more bit. No, that's it. I'll put that to one side. Just wipe my hands. So we need to add the milk as well. This is the, um, I can't remember how much milk I've got, Mike. I think I have 125 mils of milk. <laughs> Let's 
on that in there. There we are. Looking at his notes. I'm looking at my notes, <laughs> ladies and gents. You bet I am. And then take my little whisk. Just want, just want to mix it together. Conglomerate? No. no. Amalgamate. Amalgamate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no point using the, the, the um, KitchenAid for this. There we are. Quite funny, we have brown eggs in the UK and, and in the US it's mainly white, I believe. I think it's all down to um, what you feed the chicken, because obviously what you feed the chicken goes into creating the shell, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. So it depends on how it's fed, what type of grain or what type of food, depends yep. on the colour of the egg. So, we have the egg there. Which right. makes you wonder what robins eat. Because their eggs are blue. Yes. Okay, we can add the cheese now, but this is the um, mature cheddar. This is coloured cheddar. Yeah. Do you add all of it, or do you save some back for the, the topping? You add three quarters of it, and you're going to save some back from the topping, yeah. There we are. Let's mix that in. Give it a whisk. Yeah. Becoming a lot thicker now because it's got the cheese in it. Mm -hmm. There we are. I'm going to add some of the parmesan, but not all of it again. Because we need to put some on top. Parmigiano. Parmigiano, yeah. Let me just adjust the shot a little bit. Okay. There we go. There we are. Oh. Can you smell it? I can. What does it smell also... delicious? It does. What I'm also going to add, I'll just put the piece there, I'm going to add some of the dried onion. Right. This is from the supermarket. Um, believe it or not, it's down the beef burger aisle and whatever, hot, the hot dog aisle, yes. tin hot dog aisle in yes. the UK. You can, you can find them normally down the aisle where they sell the hot dog. So I'm just putting a small handful in. There we are. Yeah. So there's plenty going on in this. Yes. I mean, if, you, if you're a red pepper fan, you can have chopped red peppers. Ham. Yeah. Bacon. If you're vegetarian, you have chicken. Just joking. <laughs> uh, yeah, add anything you want in. And we've got some, some, some chopped chives. Yep. That's about... Uh, so onion and chive. Lovely. So cheese, onion and chive. Always a good combo. It is. Always a good combo. There we go. And then just a few. Yes. Do not tip the entire thing in, or should be eating them on your own. That'll do. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because Mike's not keen of. Uh... Well, it's not. It's not. He's not keen. Is they're not keen of him. <laughs> not right, Mike. That's correct. Oh yeah. My body has a hard time um, with any kind of capsicum. Yes, it does. Whether it be pepper or chili, which is why we're not putting peppers in there. That's true. Right, I was going to put that to one side. I just need to get a slightly larger bowl now, so I can mix both together. Okay, I've got my larger bowl now. I'm going to pour in the mixture first. There we go. Oh, look at all that cheese. Mustn't say the word cheese. Oops. <laughs> it's alright, I just sleep anyway. There we are. Because the cheese monster will be down. It was down yesterday, when I was making, when I was grating the cheese. Oh yeah. Ready for tea last night, and then when I grated it this morning, it was here again. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Just going to just put them into that. They're quite waxy and starchy, these, which is what you want. Yes, if they were waxy potatoes are what it's called for. Yeah. So you use all just new potatoes and things. They'll just fall to pieces if you yeah. like mashed potato. There we are. Look at that. Lovely. Right. Just put that to one side. And now it's time to grease our muffin tin. Okay, you need a deep muffin tin. You could use a shallow one, but you're going to end up probably with it coming over the top. So you're better with quite a deep muffin tin. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to use a little bit. I'm using some sunflower. sunflower oil. Sunflower oil, vegetable oil, it doesn't really matter. But this is the bit I don't like. <laughs> My hands are clean, I assure you. Let's pour a little bit in one. Can, can you not use some greaseproof paper or some? No. no. It, you've got, particularly got to use sunflower oil because it has a, um, 
it won't soak in. Doesn't no, I meant to move it around rather than having it on your oh, fingers. You could, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you could. But you can, you can feel how much you've got on your fingers as yeah. well when you do it this way. So I'll grease all these 12. I'll be back with you in a second or two. Okay, so all my little cubby holes <laughs> are greased up. I'm going to use a ladle because I think it's going to be easier. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit so I don't, and I don't want to get all the cheese in one and not the other. So about halfway? Yeah, about halfway. I'm just trying not to get any on the outer of the um, the tin. It, 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 a, it looks a mess, and B, it could go probably stick, it'll probably stick when it bakes. Yeah. Which is normally the sort of thing that happens to me. Yeah. There looks like a lot of mixture, but when you start ladling it out, you realise... Well, it's got to go between the 12, hasn't yes. it? So... These look and smell absolutely divine. See, if you do get any on the side, on the top, you can always just wipe it off before oh, you pop yeah. it in the oven. Yeah. It's supposed to do 12, but I appear to have... Well, we can always do more than one 11. baking or can't we? Yeah, of course we can. I'll just pour that. I've got 11 done. I don't want to leave any of the nice goodness in the bottom. There we go. They're all roughly about the same. Mm. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of the cheese on the top of each. Please take care not to get it round the edges because it will it will melt mold itself melt itself to the the pan and you'll have a little bit more difficulty getting the oh I see the melt yeah. afterwards there we go and then a little bit that's left there. There. one can have a little bit more cheddar on <laughs> So I think you went a bit mad with the uh, the pecorino to start off with, didn't you? Oh, I did. I did. The, the parmesan, sorry. Do the bit off there. There we are. I think you've got quite a bit more on that one, haven't you? Yes, I have. There we go. There we are. Looks about right. That'll do. That'll do. It's not. It's not. It's, a bit, it's not exactly science. It just wants to. So you give a little bit of cheese on top. Amazon on so now I'm just going to do if a tiny little bit of the onion not a lot just a little that left in the sides there we go lovely okay so they need to go in the oven Right, Bentley, what's the temperature, please? <coughs> Brilliant, thank you. I shall go and put the oven on. <laughs> that dog is so clever getting the temperatures right for my oven. I'm just <laughs> going to put them in now. They want to be in for 25 to 30 minutes, but take care after 25 minutes to make sure they don't burn. Keep your eye on them. There we go. Five minutes is up. Oh, look at those. They look absolutely delicious. So do we have to leave them to, to cool? Um, yes, leave That's them to cool better. for about five to ten minutes. <laughs> five to ten minutes and then we can take them out. But they're all loose. That's good. Fantastic stuff. And they smell glorious. Don't worry, they will drop. Yes. I'm going to run, run a round, what is it, round-headed knife or a round-ended knife? Yeah, a spatula, yeah. or no, that's a butter knife, but that works. I'm just going to tease them out. If we, 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 we grease them up very well, they should just 
pop out. You're gonna, you're gonna lose a little bit in the bottom, though. <laughs> There. Sometimes. There we are. No matter how you grease the tins, they always, always stick, don't they? Mm. Would you be better with a spatula? No, because this won't scratch the um, the coating of the pan. Oh, okay. There we are. Just got to ease them. With them being egg, they also are yes. very fluffy. There we are. Nicely golden. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? They smell beautiful. I'm not put off by the little bits at the bottom that I've lost. 99% of it is on top. Well, I should imagine the heavier stuff would sink to the bottom anyway. Yes, yes it would. So your bits of potato would. Like a mini omelette, aren't they? Which I suppose is exactly what they are. They smell, they smell absolutely beautiful. You see, we've just lost a little bit of the bottom, but look at all the yeah. lovely cooked potato in there. Although I do have one little exception to all this. What's that? You only made 11. Yes. Which means there's going to be an uneven number. You can't even give it to Bentley. No, because it's got onion in it. And onions are poisons to dogs. So, there we have them, I just straight out of the oven. They're perfect, apart from the underneath where the bits have come off, but they look and smell divine. Oh, oh they're nice. <laughs> they smell absolutely delicious. I just get that hint of the cheese and you're offering me a plate, aren't you? Thank you yeah. so much. We were going to save these for lunch, weren't we? I'm having that one. Well, there are 11. There should be 12. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's the onion and the chive and just that very mild kick of the hotness and the warmth from the chilli. And we've thing. also got the dried onion. Oh, beautifully, beautifully moist on the inside. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Were you waiting to have this? No, 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 I've got a plate here with loads of <laughs> I knew this was coming out on Ooh. top, ladies and gentlemen. Just got a bit of tingle from the chilli. That's lovely. Hmm. Right. Shall I hold that while you have one now? Yeah, and then you can, you can, that can do give the your thing. stuff. That can do the thing. Thank you. Hmm. Enjoy. Yes. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching Ian create these um, mini mm. cheese and potato frittatas. If you have, don't forget, the recipe card is available as a digi-download. There's a little clickable link in the description area below. Um, yeah, and if you have enjoyed it, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. It's all from us for this week. We'll see you all again. Are you looking for another one? Nothing for lunch. <laughs> we'll see you all again very soon while we tuck into the rest of these for lunch. There you go. Ooh. Bye for now.